quick tip. So we're going to make a bit.ly link for some kind of Google Doc we have. And so here's the Google Doc. I'm going to do this. First, let's open up bit.ly, which actually redirects to bit.ly.com. And you'll need to create an account, so you might want to sign up. I'm already signed up, so I'll just log in. I logged out on purpose so you could see me doing this. And I'm signed in with Twitter. I should uh, authorize this app, and I should get in. I, there I am. All right. So this is the quick way. You just grab the URL. Again, if you're using a browser that hides the URL, bell or ULL, URL bar, stop that. Make it so it's visible. I hate when the URL bar is hidden. So I'll copy paste the URL. It'll come up and say bit.ly saved a few seconds ago this URL. Now you can just go ahead and use this URL, but you could um, call it something else. So maybe I want to call this Agora Student Feedback or something like that. Agora Student Feedback. And so I can change with the bit.ly link. Obviously, since this is bit.ly I'm using and I don't have a custom um, shortener, you can get a custom shortener. Uh, this URL um, needs to be unique across everybody. Um, and because I'm not paying, um, I can't edit these either. I think it gets stuck. Maybe someone else can tell me. So I changed it so it's a nicer URL. So bit.ly Agora Student Feedback with a capital A, capital S, capital F. I'm going to copy that. And then I could just uh, say I'm going to do a hangout here in a second. And I'll paste that. And I'm going to center it. And I'm going to make that ridiculously hugely big. So I can, uh, maybe not so big. Maybe let's drop that down a bit to 72. There we go. So I'll use that link when I show people the session today. And uh, that was all about doing a bit. <laughs>